What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another video for you on ZAMP. So as you may or may not know, ZAMP is something that you can use to host your own web server, SQL database, Mercury mail server, etc, etc. And I've got a bunch of videos on setting this up and using it yourself linked in the description down below. However, if you've installed it with one configuration and you want to add or remove components, it's not exactly the simplest thing to do, but there are a few workarounds that let you get all that you need without having to reinstall the entire thing and copy across all of your settings. Basically, over here, I've got just an Apache server with PHP, and that's about it. I want to go ahead and install a MySQL database server onto this version of XAMPP over here without losing any of my settings or files. So how exactly would I go about doing that? Because these are all grayed out and there's absolutely no way from within this program that you can go ahead and do this. Well, step number one, you need to make sure that XAMPP and all of its components are completely closed. So everything that's running, just click stop, wait for them to finish, and then we'll use the quit button in the bottom right of XAMPP. We'll check our task tray to make sure that XAMPP is not running. And if it is, right click, quit. Now XAMPP is completely closed, we can go ahead and edit the settings and download the installer yet again. So head into the link in the description down below, which will take you to this XAMPP download page from Apache and friends. Basically, all you need to do is hit the Windows download button. It'll take you across to this download success page and you'll download the installer exe. So again, make sure that XAMPP is completely closed and then open up the XAMPP installer. Hit yes when prompted for admin and we'll get to the screen over here, which will prompt us to install XAMPP yet again. So of course we have the familiar antivirus warning and we continue anyways, hit okay, next. And then we get to this page over here. So you want to select everything you want to install and copy across to your main server. So I want my SQL database and I can uncheck the rest of these because I already have PHP my admin, Perl, and that's about it from here already installed. I just want the my SQL database server to download. So after you've checked what you want, you can click next. And when you get prompted for a folder to install this to, simply enter a different name. So currently my installation is located at C XAMPP, as you can see over here. All you need to do is make sure that you name this something different from your original installation. So I'll call it XAMPP1. This is the folder that doesn't exist. Hit next. I'm gonna uncheck that. Next, next and it'll start installing to that other folder. So over here, I have my normal XAMPP files, and I'm simply gonna go ahead and open up the second folder that I just created, XAMPP1. As you can see, all of the files are copying across. However, there's a new MySQL folder in the one that I'm installing, and my original installation doesn't have this MySQL folder. So I'll simply wait for it to finish, wait for it to create the uninstaller. Note that this may mess with the uninstaller that's currently on your PC. So if you need to uninstall your existing XAMPP version, it may be a bit confused when you eventually get around to it. But anyways, I'm gonna uncheck this start the control panel now button and click finish. Then I'm gonna go to the folder that we just created and open up my original folder. What I'm gonna do is take the MySQL folder, control X to cut, head back to my original folder and control V to paste. So now we've basically copied across the MySQL installation from the fresh install into my existing install over here. Once you've done that, you can close the new install. And if you wanted, you could go ahead and delete it or uninstall it. But for now, we're going to have a look at our original installation over here. So from here, all you need to do is scroll down and you need to find zampcontrol.ini. We're going to open this up. You can open this with Notepad or Notepad++. And all we need to do is find enabled modules and we need to find MySQL, change that zero to a one, save and close. Then we need to open a XAMPP control.exe and we'll see the screen over here. So you might get a couple of error messages, but before we do anything, we need to click config next to MySQL and click on my.ini. Once you've done that, you'll see this page over here. Now all you need to do is hopefully you've opened this with something like Notepad++ or another text editor that has the ability to find and replace. I'm gonna hit Control F to bring up this window over here. Type in XAMPP1, which is the folder we installed it to, and I'll make sure to replace every occurrence with XAMPP1 with just XAMPP. So currently it's pointing to C, XAMPP1, MySQL, MySQL SOC. I'll hit replace all, and as you can see, every occurrence of XAMPP1 has been changed to XAMPP. So C, XAMPP, MySQL, MySQL SOC. I'll go ahead and save it and close the text editor. Then once you've done that, all you need to do is have a look back at the control panel over here and click the start button. And as you can see, our MySQL server has started up successfully and we've successfully added a module to our existing XAMPP control panel. 
So I'm going to stop the server, close out of the control panel, head back to my C drive, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete XAMPP1. Hit enter, and it's gone. And that's basically it. We've now successfully added another module into XAMPP, and we've deleted the fresh installation that we just did, and we imported it to our old one. All of your settings and files should remain intact, and we've just added that new module. This should work for most of the other modules that you can add in a similar fashion. However, if you're trying to add PHP my admin and things like that, the process may be a little bit different, but this should work for Mercury, Tomcat, MySQL, and things like that. Anyways, my name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.